really important topic that people need to understand and not many people do understand, and that's how the mass media functions. You see, the mass media, in case you haven't noticed, doesn't really do a lot of investigative journalism anymore. Instead, most stories that appear in the media are pre-written, basically, by press agents. I've heard that there are more press agents now than members of the actual press. Now, these press agents are almost always hired by someone with an agenda, usually by industry, sometimes by government. And when someone is trying to convince you of a story, then it's usually because it's in their interest to convince you, and it's not necessarily in your best interest. Let me give you two really good examples. If you grew up in the 80s and 90s like me, you probably still think in the back of your mind that margarine is healthy. Well, actually, margarine is one of the most unhealthy things you can eat, and studies have always shown that. There's never been a study that showed that margarine was healthy. However, margarine has a very high profit margin compared to butter and tropical oils, which it replaced. And so, people in industry realized that if they could just convince America that margarine was healthy, they could make a lot of money, even though America's health might be severely diminished. So they extrapolated existing studies which showed that, high, that uh, saturated animal fat was unhealthy, saturated animal fat in the form of lard was unhealthy, and they simply extrapolated that and lied and said, well, since lard's unhealthy, then probably butter's unhealthy and probably tropical oils are unhealthy too because they're, they're uh, saturated fats as well. So they basically just lied, and then they said, well, margarine's probably healthy because it's not an animal fat, even though it is saturated total lie. There was never, an, never any epidemiological evidence to show any of that, but they simply extrapolated it, and they repeated it a lot of times in the media, and after something's repeated enough times, people will tend to believe it if they don't hear an opposing viewpoint. Now, who's going to put out an opposing viewpoint? The tropical oil industry was disorganized. The dairy industry probably could have uh, tried to defend butter a little bit better, but, but it didn't happen. And humans basically believe whatever they're told enough times if they don't hear anyone deny that lie. And if they don't question it themselves. And so all of America was convinced that hydrogenated oil in the form of margarine was really, really healthy and that you better not eat butter and tropical oils. Another example closer to home is weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Everyone just believed it because the government was the one releasing these stories and there was really no counter group that, uh, that denied it. Sure, there were European governments and outside entities that were denying it, but none of them bothered to hire press agents and try to get their point of view across. And so the media just kept repeating what they heard from the State Department and from the executive branch that, oh, there's weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Now, if anyone had done any investigative journalism at all, they could have found that there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. But instead, all of America believed this lie because the average American didn't bother to think about it and didn't really have a good background in international politics to understand that it was a lie. Um, so, you know, these lies that are propagated in the mass media are very harmful. How many people have died in Iraq and, and how much debt has been run up for America based on that lie of weapons of mass destruction? How many people's health was negatively impacted because all of America believed that margarine was healthy and believed that hydrogenated oils were okay and we should replace the butter and the tropical oils in our foods with hydrogenated oil? You know, these lies are extremely damaging, and granted, there's not a lot you can do about it as far as convincing all of society, but you can at least tell your immediate uh, peer group, and most importantly, you can make sure that you yourself are not impacted by the lie. Maybe all of America will continue to eat hydrogenated oil, but you don't have to. You don't have to damage your mental and physical abilities by poisoning yourself with hydrogenated oil just because a lie is being propagated in the media. And you don't have to go fight in Iraq and die just because a lie is being propagated in the media. So it's really important to understand 
practically every news story out there that gets a lot of coverage is being pushed by some special interest. Now in investing you see this constantly. Practically every story that appears um, related to investing is, is being pushed by someone, either by a hedge fund or by the company that wants to up its stock price. I mean, anybody that has any kind of success and background in investing realizes that these these stories are, are always being pushed by someone. Um, but even investors don't always realize that the same thing happens in other industries, the same thing happens in the food industry, and the same thing happens in government. Um, for example, I work for local government and uh, we're able to convince people of things that you know, if they really stopped and thought about it, they would never, never agree to. For example, uh, we have to have a 66% approval rating, uh, approval vote, in order to pass new taxes. Now, how many times are you going to get two-thirds of the people to vote to tax themselves more? It's incredibly difficult, and yet we can do it because we hire press agents and we tell people that you know it's very important that this bond measure gets passed critically important that we pass this bond measure because you know it's going to help such and such group and if we don't pass it all these terrible things are going to happen and since we have the money and we can hire the press agents our story gets out and there really is no opposition and if people don't hear the opposing viewpoint they'll believe anything they'll even believe that they should tax themselves more. I mean, that's just the way humans are hardwired. We're a social animal and we tend to believe anything that we hear constantly repeated. So it's very important to question anything you hear in the mass media. Recognize that there is always, always some entity behind stories that are getting pushed in the mass media. And if you really want to understand the way the world works, you kind of have to investigate everything on your own, and you have to look to alternative media sources. If you're going to be successful as an investor, you absolutely have to do that. If you're going to have good health, you have to do that. And if you're going to understand how politics works and what's really going on in the world, you have to do that. Practically everything out there in the mass media has been pushed by someone, and it's always been that way. You know, for thousands of years, people have gone to war because their leaders have lied to them and told them that this other group is evil and needs to be uh, stopped. And what's going on today is no different than what has always gone on. But if you're going to be free and you're going to understand how things really work, you need to think about it for yourself and you need to always question what you hear. If you like this video, you can check out my other videos on equally important and misunderstood topics. And also, please forward this video to any of your friends that you think would be interested in it. That's really the only way that society is going to learn about these issues.